to plot our data in Google Sheets, because we don't have, we want acceleration to be on our x-axis and net force on our y-axis. So we can't, um, Sheets won't automatically set it up for us the way we want. So we're just going to do a couple quick things here. We're going to insert chart, and then it says I have no data. I'm going to keep this right up there next to the numbers I want to see. And then we want to turn it into a scatter plot. Okay, and it's still going to say no data. What you need to do next is go to the series. And we want to add a series here. And I'm going to look back and I'm going to say not my x-axis. I want my y-axis to be acceleration. I'm sorry, to be force net. So that is E, in this case, E3. If I say E2 to E8, that'll help me. It'll find those labels there, E2 to E8. I'm going in this section right here. And I click Enter. And it posts that. It doesn't know what to graph the X against. So I'm going to go back in here to X. And that's going to be F2 to F8 lines up right next to it. Now we've got from 0.3-ish to a little over 1.75. So there's our X scale and here's our Y scale. Now we want to go in and customize this a bit. Um, here it says use row two as headers. That's just a reminder to it that this second row is headers. Sometimes that helps you out. Um, now we want to go to series and we want to add a trend line to this. So we're just going to click Add Trend Line, and then we're going to say Use Equations, or Equation pops up there. And we want to include R squared just to see how good of a fit was that, right? So there is our chart. It's getting close. We want to do a few other things. Let's look at the horizontal axis. Horizontal axis numbers go, we, want, we usually want 0. So let's go from 0 to 2 here. Um, the default that it has often doesn't work that well for you. So we're going to go from 0 to 2, and now it gives us nice round numbers here, a half, one, one and a half. Then we're going to do the same to vertical axis, and we're going to say our vertical data goes from 0 to a little over 1. So let's say 1.25, it looks like it's already doing that. Um, so it automatically did that. We can go in here and force it just in case. Oops, uh, 125, no, 1.25. Okay, and now we're back in there, um, and we don't want balance to hide data because that way, if we happen to have, if we make a mistake here, we won't notice it. This will change the bounds if we have data outside of that. So that's all set. Next thing we need to do is add some titles. So we're going to go up here to chart axis and titles, and we're going to say the vertical axis. In our case, this is the force, the net force in newtons. Okay, and then we're going to say the horizontal axis. This was our acceleration. In meters per second per second. And it looks like I got acceleration. I missed a C there. Okay, that's ready. The last thing we want to do is our uh, chart title. So in this case, I'm looking at this was just the cart. So I'm going to do um, force versus acceleration cart only. Okay, get a nice title up there on the top. And it looks like that chart is ready to go. Here's the data you want to input. We've got a slope and a y-intercept and an r-squared value. That's what you're going to want to put into the class-wide spreadsheet. So that's all there is to it.